Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to solve a frustrating issue that many of you might encounter during a fresh Windows installation. If you've ever tried to install Windows and suddenly faced an error saying Windows could not format a partition on disk zero, the error occurred while preparing the computer system volume, along with a system error code, don't worry, you're not alone. This issue can happen for a number of reasons, corrupted partitions, incompatible formatting, or previous installations interfering with setup. But the good news is, it's fixable. And in this step-by-step -step guide, I'll walk you through exactly how to resolve it and get your Windows installation back on track. So without any delay, let's jump right into the solution and fix this error. First, restart the Windows installation process. When you reach the screen that displays all the available drives and partitions, go ahead and select each partition one by one and choose the delete option. Be sure to delete all partitions listed to completely clear the hard disk. Deleting partitions will erase all data from your hard drive. So, if you have any important files, make sure to back them up before proceeding. Once all partitions have been deleted, click on new to create a new partition. Allocate the space you want for your C drive and then click apply. This will automatically create the necessary partitions required for Windows installation. Now that everything is set, select the primary partition and click next to begin installing Windows on your PC. If this method doesn't work and you're still facing the error, let's move on to the next step. Close the installation window and on the installation screen, press Shift plus F10 together to open command prompt. Now, in the command prompt window, type disk part and press enter to launch the disk management tool. Next, type list disk and press enter again. This will show all the storage drives connected to your system. Now type select disk zero, replacing zero with the number of the disk where you want to install Windows. In most cases, it's disk zero, but if you have multiple drives like disk one or disk two, make sure you choose the correct one where you plan to install Windows. Once selected, press enter, type clean, and press enter to wipe the selected disk completely. Once the disk is cleaned, type convert GPT, and press enter to convert the disk to GPT format. Then type create partition primary, and press enter to create a new primary partition. Now type active and press enter to mark the partition as active. Next, type format FS equal sign NTFS quick and press enter to format the drive using the NTFS file system. Once that's done, type exit to close disk part and then close the command prompt. Now, go back and continue with the installation process. Now, choose I don't have a product key and then select the version of Windows you'd like to install. Accept the license terms and click Next. Choose Custom, install Windows only and select the partition you just created. Now click Next again to start the installation. That's it, Windows 10 or Windows 11 will now install on your PC without showing the Windows could not format a partition on disk zero. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully this guide helped you fix the Windows could not format a partition on disk zero error and get your Windows installation back on track. If this video saved your time or helped you in any way, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on future tech fixes and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.